is up you guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be showing you guys my what i eat in a day on a realistic basis because right now i don't have any groceries and i'm pretty much just using whatever i have on the fridge so i just want to show you guys what i typically cook when i'm running out of things or when i'm not tracking and like i said i don't really have much right now so i am going to cook my leftover chicken thighs with i don't even know what to cook dude with 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 for our carbs i am going to use this quinoa from trader joe's quinoa duo so i'm basically just gonna pop this in the microwave i am like on a crunch time right now because i'm going to be streaming so i did something really quick and i'm probably gonna pop in another meal after or during my stream something that's quick and easy okay let's get started so i didn't realize that my chicken thigh is very tiny so i cut up some chicken breast and i'm going to put some breadcrumbs on this just for flavor i have to beat this first with my actual hands and then we can season it so it'll flatten out like a patty okay here we go <laughs> that is ugly Ew. there you go gotta be a better way to do it. I did it last time very good. <laughs> this one's kind of flattened out. It's flat, kind of. <laughs> this one's terrible. There you go. Next time I need to buy a mallet. That's what they call it, right? Yeah. Meat beater. Whoa, whoa. I mean. <laughs> whoa. Correction, it is in tenderizer. <laughs> <laughs> She's a meat beater. <laughs> I'm going to use pink salt, black pepper, and garlic, and breadcrumbs to season this. But first, I'm gonna go in with pink salt, and then black pepper. Got a little trash truck coming in. Perfect uh, time. I think it's like in every video on YouTube right now. On my YouTube. And then we're going to coat it with this breadcrumb from Trader Joe's. You want to generously just coat it all over. The pan is heating up. I already sprayed some of this olive oil spray. And we are ready to pop it into the pan. Here that sizzle. I gotta turn it up a little bit. And you should hear it sizzle. <laughs> it's supposed to sizzle. I promise I can cook. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> Meat beaters and now this. <laughs> this one should sizzle. Hear that? Hear that beautiful sizzle. Okay, so I'm about to put this quinoa mix into a bowl. For one cup, it's 220 calories, 6 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein, and 36 grams of carbs, which is okay with me because I'm getting my protein in there. I know I had a bagel, but that's okay. This is what I realistically eat when I cannot count my macros. Okay, so this is done cooking. I am going to let it sit here for a few minutes. So it's still cooking inside and then I will cut it open. Okay, let's chop it up. And I know this is probably a lot of meat, so I'm probably just going to take two ounces of the chicken thigh and then two ounces of the chicken breast. And our quinoa is done. It's really hot. Ah. Ta-da, look at that. I actually added a little bit more like midway being cooked just because I feel like it wasn't enough. So this is how it turns out. It's got some zucchini in there. I believe it's got carrots and a quinoa, a bunch of other goodies, and it tastes amazing. And voila, meal two is complete. Mm. 
so good. I really like the quinoa mix because you mix it with water and it kind of creates this little broth in there, which gives it a lot of flavor to the chicken because it's so dry. It's not really that dry, but I mean, considering that we use chicken breast, it's going to taste a little dry. And it is so, so easy to cook, like no efforts needed. Honestly, I just have to pop it into the pan and pop it in the microwave and I'm good to go. Okay, so I just finished streaming and I just finished my workout. So typically after that, I just go ahead and pop a scoop of ghost protein. And for tonight's dinner, we're having Chick-fil-A. Okay, so for protein, and excuse the lighting, it's dark in here. Um, so for my protein, I am drinking the marshmallow cereal milk. And I kind of did not like it before. But why is it now focused on me? It's, it's focused on you. I gave it an 8 out of 10, but now I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's got like marshmallow bits inside. Like the, what is what's the cereal? Lucky Charm. Lucky Charm cereal. And I will show you How guys. How did you forget about Lucky Charm? Because I never ate Lucky Charm cereal. That's why I wasn't like a big fan of this. What a deprived childhood. No, I was a Cocoa Pebbles person. Comment down below. Cocoa Krispies are far superior. Cocoa, okay, Cocoa Krispies. Yeah, that's a good one too. So just gonna pop that in there. But I'm gonna show you guys the little bits and pieces of... What is up with this thing? Anyways, if you guys wanna try this flavor out, don't forget that I do have a discount code, GEM, and that'll give you, save you 20% off. And, 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 and. and that is my post-workout snack. Okay, so for my Chick-fil-A dinner, I am having the Cobb salad. So it's pretty high in fat but that's okay, I think I have some space for it. And of course, a protein with a chicken and just eating that with the fat-free honey mustard. Okay, so this is the nutrition facts on the fat-free honey mustard. Um, 80 calories per serving. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but there's two servings in here. So about 160 calories, which is okay. A little bit of carbs in there, but that's fine. Probably gonna end up music, using the entire thing. And of course, the charred tomato crispy red bell peppers. And that's the nutrition facts, but who cares? It tastes good. Hell yeah. So that is pretty much it for my what I eat in a day realistically i hope that gave you guys some insight on how i typically track my foods or what i eat when i can't track or when i don't have foods in my fridge i wanted to show you guys that i'm not always on top of it especially right now during quarantine I like with all the gyms closed and with all these home workouts i have not been honestly haven't been 100 percent with my nutrition and even my fitness so just letting you guys know that it is totally okay to not be 100% all the time unless you have a really strict goal that you're going after, like if you're competing, that's totally fine. But if you just want to live life and stay healthy, you don't need to go hard on yourself. You do not need to count your macros every single second. Sometimes it's better to prioritize your mental health because if you don't take care of your mental health and your overall just like well-being it's gonna take a toll on you and that's going to even set you back further with your fitness goals anyways i hope you guys like this video let me know if there's anything else you would like to see and don't forget to give this a thumbs up and i will see you guys oh and don't forget to subscribe and hit that ring bell button and i will see you guys on the next video bye